Chris, what are your thoughts on that one today? Good. It was a tough game. Uh, Halifax a decent side. He's, you know, when you get Richard Mask, you're going to get well structured defensively. They were really strong today. They're on their own patch. They've got a lot of incentive. Like I said, they worked really hard to get themselves in this situation. Now they're enjoying that time when they've made it. Like I said, they did a tough four weeks, missing some bodies, and they got in that top four. And now they're just going out and playing. But we played really well first half. We had another couple of opportunities. Could have been a bigger score in the first half than it was, but we got ourselves to a nice, comfortable lead. We wanted to start the second half well, and we did. That, that they, they got a scabby intercept try, like I said, just a little bit slack from Reese, which seemed to give them a bit of a boost. Picked themselves up, and we made, they made it tough for us in the last 20 minutes. But we, we, we dug in there, like I said, but once you've lost that energy battle a little bit and you start taking your foot off the, we thought it was going to be easy from there. And that, the good thing about this last 20 was that we dug in and we got a couple more tries towards the end of the game. Everyone talks about how these games between the Super League and Championship clubs is all to lose for yourselves and everything to gain for the other there. But how pleased were you with the way that your side applied themselves so early on and put Halifax on the back foot as much as they did? I'm very. <laughs> I don't know what the answer to that is. It's one of the same correct answers. Quite. Yeah, I was pleased with us. I thought we did, like I say, with 95% in the first half. We couldn't buy a penalty in the second half for some strange reason. It was. I don't think Gary wanted to give any, <laughs> any penalties. Um, I think Halifax just had nothing to, to lose, did they? They came out, they were on their own parts, the fans were cheering them on, they, they got stuck in and they had some decent plays. So Sharp and Morris who were hard to handle on the backfield. I thought a couple of times Tyra made some good decisions. I thought the, the pack was strong. If they defended really, really well and to score as many points as we did against them. The, the couple of home games that they've got here now to come. It's going to be too hard to be here. Like I, say, I think Carlin's got to come in. That'll be a, be a tough game on Carlin's because, like I said, wherever Halifax are, they're looking to be as high as possibly can for the funding that they need for next year. Whether they make a Super League fist of it, I don't know. We'll see how they go in the next few games, but they're looking to finish high to get the funding that they, they deserve. How impressed were you with the way that your, your forwards really made headway down the field? Oh, we, we made some real good yards. Again, we, we knew what was going on. We, we, we came here expecting to win. They thought they could win. Um, we went after it and made a plan, and we did. Like I said, the completion rate was really key. We built pressure, started the second half, and I don't think, like I said, there was a little, a little bit of prickliness in it when it's 26 12, but there was, I don't think it was in trouble. It's it caught from an intercept and a crossfield kick that bounced out from his hands. Like I, said, I think we understood how to get back on the horse and how to get back going again. And I thought it was a really solid performance from us. I might say, should have been a little bit more points wise. We had two or three other opportunities, but I'm happy with the 36. Did you, Dennis, do you think that competition this year is tighter and, and more evenly spread than two years ago when you were involved? I think what you basically got is you've got a tough, tough group of teams that know what to, how to prepare for this now. And like I say, Halifax have come into this and scraped their way in. The other sides that are in there have been getting ready for this for four weeks. One of them has been getting ready for it all year. <laughs> it's that kind of mentality that they work towards this point in the season as being something that that, that sets them up for the next year. Halifax, do Halifax want to be Super League? Can they cope being Super League? Oh, that's a question. That I don't know. They've got the funding. They've got the ability to to stay alive if they went up and had to spend all the money and find the players to be in Super League. But what they do give themselves as an organisation is if they, the higher they fit, the stronger they, they can become over the next couple of years. And I think that's what they're striving for, that funding stream that they're after, just to, to keep making themselves into a stronger club. And I, I think the competition itself, <coughs> people are aware of it now and how to prepare for it. They say you come out of the Super League, and it's, it's three years ago when Arnold Wakefield beat Bradford in the game, Wakefield had spent four months themselves getting ready for that recruiting and getting ready for this, this competition. It's been a bit tough the last couple of years when you look at the sides that have dropped into there because of injury, because of this lack of form. It's it's not an enjoyable competition like that. You might be able to watch it. Like I say, it's not the greatest, I don't think it's a great spectacle you watch the game is today. It was a plenty of drama, but it was a rubbish game. <laughs> he come through injury free? Oh, you know, tomorrow. And say at the moment, we've got some bumps and bangs, but everybody seems all right. I, that's, I think that's the first time I've picked the same side all year. 
and that's like I say, from my first to the time of, like I say, in nine months that I've picked 17 players the same both weeks, it's, it's pretty bizarre. I didn't realise it myself until, until somebody told me. You said coming into this it was a clean slate. You've stepped your stall out now with that result and that performance. Is is the message now consistency? I know you've been looking for that all year, striving for that all year. Yeah, if we can select the same side next week at home, then we can build on that again. Like the, what, the tough thing that we've got, like Danny Craven's not played for ten weeks and he's played two games now. I say he's the one that, I, that in a key pivotal position that could be key to us over the next two or three weeks. And he's now got through two games. He looks a lot stronger today. Chris Dean looks like he's going to come back, but Hannah Hermia looks like he's going to get ready for that last four last four games. So our squad, if we can hold it strong, it'll, it'll get stronger into that last four four weeks, which is what we wanted really. Like I say, we've not been able to go out and recruit anybody, but what we have got is we've got players that are coming back that haven't played. They're have good players as well that can give us some composure. Basically, you need five wins. You need five wins and ten points over the last three years that have given you a place in Super League. That's our target. Our target is five wins.